हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल जोशी वेलकम यू टू दिस शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन ओनली द रिक्वायर्ड पार्ट विल बी एक्सपोज नाउ लेट अस गो टू दिस शोल्डर शोल्डर जॉइंट प्रॉपर पेशेंट इज केप्ड इन अ सुपाइन और सिटिंग विद अ आर्म पोजीशन एज पर द इंटरेस्ट what it means is the thumb position it can be neutral or it can be externally rotated depending on the structure of humerus you want to have a look whether it is greater trochanter whether it is greater tuberosity lesser tuberosity or its neck which is either surgical or of the anatomical neck so depending on that we give angulations now central ray is over the shoulder joint very easy very easy to palpate very easy to see also and it should be perpendicular to the cassette Now, whatever angles we need to give, we need give it to the patient. We elevate opposite shoulder, but the cassette and a central ray elevation is unchanged. Baki is optional, but most of the time it is not used because the radiography part we are imaging is of less thickness. But sometimes a shoulder is also imaged along with the clavicle and also lower cervical spine to assess for the. cervical ribs so these should not be included but if at all they have to be included then a bucky is preferred otherwise shoulder joint only we use without bucky non bucky here the all diagrammatic illustrations about it now how a beautifully taken shoulder joint shows a clavicle coracoid process acromion process glenoid cavity scapula and humerus what is not seen in this is the coracoid process which comes in a ap direction so it is not well projected for that we will have to change the angulation and we will have to go for a axial so we must see what was the indication or which are the anatomical part to be seen in that x ray and depending on that we can design the radiography now here you have to get patient below the central ray Centering, as I told you, Shoulder is very control. easy to pro, uh, feel uh, acromion process. Okay. Now see the hand position, see the neck position. Right. Thumb has to be up so that it's a neutral position. You can get proper instruction to the patient whether he is getting any pain right. or not. Needs to be taken by the technician while he is taking the radiograph. Now see, he is elevating opposite side shoulder. This can either be done by holding a edge of the table. If patient can be stable like himself, that's also is okay. Otherwise, a sandbag might have to be used for this. Now, this is a cassette which is uh, placed. That is a DR cassette which is placed, and everything is set for the exposure. So it's fine. The exposure is taken, and the X-rays are over. Now here we are seeing two projections. Now if you see the greater to berosity you can know the rotation of the thumb whether it is inside or outside so also a care is taken here to center it on a acromion process while the second one has got inclusive of cervical spine as it is obviously seen that there is a pathology of cervical spine so it is a just not a correct technique but sometime it can gives you an idea about that so also if you want to know the clavicle especially if you are suspecting any history of trauma is there or if any uh, patient's pain is there so we try to include that organ that part while taking a radiograph in that way as i told you a bucky is used or a larger cassette is used so it is fine to relieve your shoulder it's better if you can give some other ideas but whenever such additional pathologies are detected they again go for the specialized x ray like in this patient you will have to go a specialized x ray of cervical spine ap like for the bony cervical rib and for the clavicle there are special views which will be covered in some different lectures thank you for watching this video now in case if you need more information do visit our website there are more article more illustrations and more informations the addresses are given they are just one click away from you